All right, so moving onward again, we have um, more information about um, different things that happened to Christ and different genealogies and things like that. And I have a friend on here that uh, studies Hebrew and Greek that I just found that uh, is talking about this right now. And, it, and what he's saying is that based on the Greek and the Hebrew and things like that, it's not the way that current people are saying that it is for um, the the feast of like the, the weeks of Daniel and stuff like that. It's wrong. So. Behold, I have set thee upon a foundation of truth, which none of the former chroniclers have found to stand upon. See, too, how these 63 generations, reaching from Adam to the birth of Christ, succeeded each other. And the Jews also rejoiced, because they also had found the generations of the families of their fathers. Observe, O brother in Nemesius, that in the days of Sirius, the fifth thousand year came to an end. And from the thousand years of Sirius until the passion of our Redeemer, the years were in number. 500 according to the prophecy of daniel who prophesied and said after 62 weeks the messiah will be slain and these weeks have make 500 years so that's the prophecy of the 5500 years and also the prophecy that jesus said both before adam fell and after he fell and as adam was dying when the um eve and seth went to the gate where the flaming sword was to ask the lord for ointment to heal adam but he didn't live to one full day which is a thousand years he was like 960 something years old and so jesus said in all those accounts i will come and save you in five and a half days a day is as a thousand years with the lord it says in peter and it also says it in uh, david's writing so that's two witnesses so then it says here according to the book of adam which people don't read daniel said after seven weeks, Christ shall come and shall be put to death. Now, seven weeks are 490 years, for a great week contains 70 years. But on that, the prophet said, after seven years, he appointed to the remaining 10 of the 500 years. Daniel did not say, Christ shall come at the end of seven weeks, but after seven weeks, and he shall be put to death. Behold, from this time to the mouth of the Jews is shut. Sorry. Behold, from this time the mouth of the Jews is shut, for they have dared to say that the Messiah hath not yet come. They must, perforce, do one of two things, either accept the prophecy of Daniel, or say, We do not accept it, for the prophecy hath been fulfilled, and the weeks have passed, and the Messiah hath been slain, and the holy city hath been laid waste by Vespasian. Now, Vespasian was the one who avenged Jesus Christ, and all the people that did all the things to Jesus when he was dying on the cross and all that stuff, Vespasian came from Rome by the emperor Tiberius and laid waste and punished all the people, even the soldiers that split up Jesus' robe. He destroyed all of it. And that's in the medieval Irish Apocrypha, this book right here, In the Avenging of the Savior. So if you want to check that out, all this stuff links up. And all these books are by different authors, so there's no possible way it could match up like this if it wasn't God's work. 